Okay, I'll be showing you how to create a final presentation format at A3 um, in a horizontal orientation. So, uh, let's begin by first making a rectangle that stretches from corner to corner. So let's align it with the top left corner, drag it down to the bottom right corner until we see the word intersect. Okay, so what we've got in fact here is a fill and stroke. All we really want is the stroke, so let's knock out the fill. And I'll just put the fill on top. I mean, sorry, the stroke on top. So we have now the uh, the parameters of the A3 format. However, we want to create a border. So the way we do this is by going to Object, Path, where is it? Offset Path, and it's minus 10 millimeters. Okay, and there we have our... Um, 10 millimeter border that runs all the way around our format. I've selected the original rectangle and I'll just delete that. Open up layers and um, name the uh, layer border. Um, we'll make two more. I will now just lock that border layer. And the second layer will be title box. And um, we're going to create a title box. So we need to go to the line segment tool and select rectangular grid tool. And um, so that's selected, then click, and you get um, this particular dialog box. And what we want to do is create a, um, a title box which is 80 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters high we're just going to use three uh, dividing lines horizontally no vertical lines so that's zero we can of course change the height of the box with any number of divisions okay so there's our box with one two three lines which gives us four spaces We'll just drag that and intersect that with the border um, and then lock that. And when we want to fill the box, we will be typing into layer three, which we'll call, I don't know, text. Let's put some information into this box. So we'll um, need to go to the type tool and um, just type in your text. So you'll need something like uh, your name. We're working in, um, in capitals. Then we need the, the title of the work. Soudan clock number one. And um, our scale, one, two, two, let's say. Whoops, full colon two, and um, the date. So uh, we've got all our information in, um, and the default font um, is Myriad Pro uh, at 12 point. I will just want to change all of this now. So I'll go to the direct, uh, sorry, the selection tool, which is the black arrow. Select the text box and um, I will go to my go to font, which is Arial. And um, um, select italics. Um, so it's like it's slanted slightly and I'll just leave it at 12 point. Now, what we need to do is open the type tool, the type tool uh let's go to paragraph and what we want is to increase the space after each line so um firstly we'll just need to put the first 
line into position and then um, work out the, la the space between each line. So we go to this last box here, which is, it reads space after paragraph. By increasing the space after each line, the lines begin to fit into the space provided. And we are done. Um, you now have a title box, um, you've got a border, and you've got the information. And of course, as we work with our actual design, we'll create another layer on top for that purpose. And, um, and then just work away in that layer. Okay, you have a go.